Here's a major problem that happens a lot when people are using jigsaws. They're making their cut and the blade is working its way through the board. But when they finish the cut, they find that the edge of the board is slightly angled. It's not perfectly square. This is a constant headache and it will happen more often to certain users. But there are reasons for this and more importantly, ways to prevent it. And that's what I'm talking about today on The Honest Carpenter Show. So the reason this angled or beveled edge happens when you're cutting with jigsaws is because the blade is bending slightly in the board. In other words, the blade is not plunging vertically. It's curving sideways in the lumber, causing it to wander. And the bigger problem is we can't see this happening because we're only looking at the top side of the piece. So we often don't know that it has occurred until the cut is done. At that point, you have to do a lot of cleanup just to get the edge square. And even then, it still may not be perfect. So I'm gonna give you a few reasons for why this occurs and show you how to prevent it. But real quick, if you're brand new to power tools and you want to drastically speed up the process of learning how to use them correctly, then check out my new online course, Power Tools Explained. In my 10 minute video lessons, I show how to use the 20 most important power tools for carpenters and DIYers with a constant focus on safety. The course is available right now at thehonestcarpenter.com and it's guaranteed to fast track your power tool education and help you avoid costly mistakes. Just click through the link in the description below. All right, the number one primary cause of jigsaw blade bending is this, pushing too hard. A lot of people really try to drive the saw forward when they're cutting, thinking that it'll speed things up, but this is a bad idea. Not only will this produce a ragged cut, it will also stress your blade. Jigsaw blades are skinny and somewhat flexible. They don't have much rigidity. So when they receive too much pressure, they'll begin to twist. And this twisting will soon cause them to bend sideways. As they bend, they'll begin making a new path in the wood, an angled path. And once they're on this path, it's very hard for them to get back to vertical. So the moment a blade gets off square, it's more likely to stay off square. You need to ease up on the pressure. Let the saw cut at its own pace. This pace may vary by model. But with jigsaws in general, slow progress is better to ensure straight, clean cuts. The second most common cause of jigsaw blade wandering is a dull or damaged blade. Once again, increased resistance is what causes blade bending, and nothing creates more resistance than cutting with a dull blade. You can often tell if your jigsaw blade is dull just by looking at it, but you can also tell by cutting with it. If your cuts feel slow and the saw seems like it's fighting you, then you may have a dull blade. Try installing a new blade. If your cuts go more smoothly right away, then you'll know what the problem was and how to prevent it in the future. Also, check to be sure that the blade itself isn't bent. Sometimes if a blade punches something, it may get kinked. A bent blade is almost guaranteed to give you a crooked cut, so change it out right away. And of course, remember to choose the right blade for your cut. Each blade will typically tell you what it's for, so choose blades based on application. The third reason for jigsaw blade bending is a very common problem, especially for newcomers. Sideways pressure. This happens most frequently on curved cuts, which is primarily what we use jigsaws for. Ideally, when you're cutting curves, you negotiate the turn slowly, little by little. But if the saw is having a hard time turning and you fight it, you can actually wind up dragging the saw sideways a bit. Or likewise, you may be twisting the saw too aggressively to try to force the turn. As we already discussed, this also leads directly to blade bending and wandering. With curve cuts in particular, you need to avoid overpowering the saw. You can't muscle it through the board. You have to let it cut its way through the board. Make tiny backward pulls to reset the saw path frequently. And consider making relief cuts to shorten curved sections. This will relieve blade pressure and help the saw blade remain vertical. And finally, the fourth reason for jigsaw blade bending is a damaged sole plate. Sole plates are calibrated in the factory to sit square to the blade. This is important because this alignment creates our 90 degree cut, but sometimes a hard knock or just a faulty model can tilt the blade a couple degrees. Right off the bat, you'll start to be making a slightly beveled cut. The blade will technically be cutting straight, it's just that the base it's sitting on is slightly skewed. And keep in mind that many jigsaws do bevel on purpose. My cheaper Black & Decker adjusts with detents and a screw but in its vertical setting, it needs to truly be cutting at 90 degrees. You can check blade alignment with a tri-square or a combo square. And again, this will give you an opportunity to ensure that the blade itself is not bent, which will always cause problems. 
Anyways, those are the main causes for blade bending and wandering in jigsaws. So be sure to slow down your cuts, always use a good sharp blade, and avoid damaging your blade alignment. If you do that, your jigsaw cut edges will come out nice and square. That's it for this week. Be sure to check us out at thehonestcarpenter.com for cool freebies and for access to Power Tools Explained, where you can learn all about jigsaws and the other 19 major power tools. I'm Ethan James with thehonestcarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.